Hello everybody, it's Steve and welcome to another video. I've no idea what to call this channel or anything like that, but I'm just putting myself on YouTube, just showing you what I've been doing. Um, I've only been doing this for the last month or so, um, and I've just only just got into Black Series myself, and I just thought I'd get into customizations and doing a bit of art at the same time. Uh, never went to college to art. Been, I've always been quite good at art. But I've never done college or anything like that. No one's ever showed me how to do anything. Um, it's just myself taught and just looking at different things on YouTube and just listening to people that have been doing it for a while. So, um, so hopefully I can show you some inspiration myself and um, show you some cool bits that I've been doing. One of my first things I've done so far, I've done um, a uh, Commander Gree Black Series. It's um, the body's a bootleg uh, clone trooper um, from AliExpress. Cost me a tenner. Um, and I've literally just got into painting and doing stuff. So I've got these uh, Tamira Colour paints. Um, Weathering kits, boot polish, scalpel knives, paintbrushes, the lot. Just went out there, um, got a few bits, and probably in all spent about thirty pounds just to get a quite a good sort of like a number of paints. Um I disagree, I just wanted to get create one. Uh, I'm not really into phase two armor. I prefer phase one from uh, the Clone Wars TV series. Um So I had to paint them all up, use references as well from the old uh, 3.75 figures um, and just paint them up. Things I've had to customise so far is um, his bandolier, which I created out of, um, let's see if I can get a bit closer, created it out of, um, is it polymer? I think it's called. So stuff that you put in the oven and you bake it. Uh, I didn't bake it for its full uh, time, so it's still just a little bit bendy and flexible. Um, and I've only had ever sort of made a little bit at school. Uh, I say about school, school for me was about 20 odd years ago. So it was a while ago that I last used it, but with a little bit of experimentation, I uh, put it there. And I, actually, I was quite proud of the thing, of the output. And I've only just started as well, recreating um, stuff as well. So I bought a, a spare Captain Rex. It was only £11 from the entertainer in the UK. Um, and I stole his holsters. Um, but the idea is that I'm going to create loads of commanders and stuff from Phase 1. Um, so I nicked loads of stuff from Captain Rex. So I nicked his, his holsters. Nicked his pauldrons. his belt which they'll come with belts anyway but if i need to recreate one i've got another one there um obviously i can use these as uh templates for when i start doing materials um and i'll show you some of my failures uh failed miserably in recreating a blaster uh and they're using that as midi putt Five ninety nine from a model shop, and I got I, I can't remember the name of it, but I got this sort of uh, silicon stuff that you can melt on the hob for uh, um, about three minutes at eighty. Um, and once it starts getting soft, you can sort of like mold anything in it. So that's what I've been trying with lately. So I'm just gonna put my phone on charge. Dies. Um, but since then I've had some near perfections of the holster but again it's a solid block which I've had problems with quite a while trying to sort it out um, recreated the pauldrons which come out really well 
Um, the next one I'm going to do when they, I get some more turned out, I'm going to do Commander Ponds. So this one will go nicely with him. But I did have a bit of success last night. Um, so here we are. There's a focusing new blaster uh, recreated done very well and also I managed to create a holster and I've actually dribbled it all out which is lovely so what I'm going to do now is actually paint this black to finish off my commander green because he has one holster on his side. Um, and all I've got is a two part epoxy resin. Let's glue it in. I love this stuff. I used to do a costuming back in the day as a storm trooper and this stuff you could not live without in your satchel. Um, oh, why is in the background as well? Um, this is uh, another bootleg. Um, it's quite hard to get clones, and because I'm going to start dismantling them and painting them all up, I do want to sort of like start it as a crappy project and notice that I ruined a, an official figure. But um, yeah, I think he's turned out all right, actually. Uh, I noticed a lot of people do these little black scuffs on it. I weren't 100% sure if I liked them or not. And that's why I've not done it on Greek, because I really like the clean cut. I like it how Hasbro would have painted them not how a model kit would look so that's why he's got it and Gree hasn't I have done boil and wax as well which I'll show at another time and my next ones I think it's going to be fives and echo uh, but for now I'm just going to paint this up paint the gun and then glue it onto his belt and then Gree will be officially finished I've already stirred and paints up. Sorry about the camera, everyone. It's a, uh, you know, poor man's life, yeah. Um, Grease belt is that um his holster is actually black, not white like all the others. So um, I don't know how many coats this would take. I've got the complete wrong brush and all. Good thing about painting clones as well. You don't have to be a, the greatest painter. Because I, as I said, I've done art before, but I'm not a painter. I'm just a pen to pencil person. Uh, I very rarely colour things in. It's always black and white. And, um, and I have to really fancy painting. I'm not a person that likes to do it all the time. I haven't got patience at all. I'm sort of one of those people that, you know, it tells you about 10 minutes for paint to dry. And I'm one that I just pick it up within two minutes to finish it off because there's something that don't look right. And then I'll put a fingerprint in it. And then I'll scream myself and get angry. But um, as you'll probably tell on this video... Dropped it with the uh, resin dust. I'm going to try and, what, and not paint the inside just to do the fact that the gun's quite a tight fit already. So if I paint the gun and paint the inside of the holster, it's, it's going to stick. 
Now if I just paint the bits that someone's going to see without looking inside, that'd do for me. As easy to sit on my shelf, I don't play, obviously. Well, you never know. You can comment in the uh, bottoms down below if there's any sort of phase one troopers you want to see. There's so many. I was like, going to go and do a couple, but um, there's hundreds and hundreds that I like. Preferably phase one, because uh, the bootlegs of the phase two just don't just don't look right. Something to do with the um, sculpting part of it. I should put it on there because it's a bit cleaner than the else. Yeah, I don't know what got me into um I mean I tell you a little bit about myself, right? It's one of my first videos. Is that I got into Clone Wars when it first came out. I remember actually leaving work and rushing into the cinema to go and see the Clone Wars film. Um sad thing was I was only like twenty I don't know when it came out actually, I must be about twenty eight. It's definitely at my old work. So just under foot under thirty. But, um, um, yeah, I weren't, I weren't impressed, <laughs> must admit. Um, but they did kind of like the style. Um, but bear with him with the uh, Clone Wars cartoon. And if you've never seen it, and it's been out for so many years now, I don't even know what's wrong with you. If you're into Star Wars and everything like that, I mean, the Clone Wars is brilliant. Just just watching the clone troopers get shot, eaten, blown up, you know. Now Disney have it, it's not not well they brought out rebels, but we'll see what the next series looks like on um their Disney Plus channel. I for one can't wait. All right, I'm going to leave those to dry and um, I might show you another time and I'll stick it all on there and because uh, literally it's not what it's going to be sticking to that sort of pouch in his belt and then um, on here and then um, that's done but next time I can give you a full review of my figure um, and I'll do wax and boil and um, hopefully some other progress shots from there. Cheers.